In this video, we'll take a look at a feature in Sword Searcher called Study Click. So take a look. What do you see? Text. Lots of text. When I'm using Sword Searcher, I'm working with text. Say I'm reading the Bible text on the left, and I reach an interesting word, and I want to see how it's used elsewhere in the Bible. I could type the word in the search box here, but that takes time. But as I said, we're working with text. Some of it is linked, like these verse references. And over here, there are a lot of margin links. But what about the rest? Well, with Sword Searcher, almost every word you see can be instantly made into a link. I'm going to point at words with my mouse. See what happens when I point at a word and hold down the Control key. I'm holding down the Control button on the keyboard. And as I do that, the word I point at becomes a link. This is called Study Click because I can now click on the word. But first, notice that the pop-up gives me some details. I'm pointing at the word workmanship, and the pop-up shows me how many verses the word is in, as well as the first and last uses of the word. Now if I keep holding down the control key and I click, Sword Searcher does a Bible search and shows me all of the verses with the word workmanship. I'm going back to the book I was reading before. Now this time, I'm going to hold down both the Control and Alt keys at the same time. Don't worry, this may sound like a lot to remember, but once you do it a few times, you won't even have to think about it. So I'm going to hold down the Control and Alt key and point at the word Salvation in this book. Notice how this time the pop-up is very simple. Just a tooltip telling me what will happen if I click the word link. This is because when I hold down both the Control and Alt keys on the bottom left of my keyboard, I'm telling StudyClick to use an alternate lookup action, in this case to open a topic guide. So when I click, I see the topic guide for the word I clicked. There are several different StudyClick options you can choose. I'll show you how to change how StudyClick works. On the File menu, select Preferences and Settings and then choose Study Click Options. This is where I can choose what Study Click does in the Bible panel. As you can see, I can choose what happens if I just hold down Control, and also what happens if I hold down Control and Alt. Here is where I can choose what Study Click does in Book and Commentary panels. Since the type of information shown in a book panel is different from a Bible panel, it can be useful to make Study Click do different lookups depending on what you're studying. To see what these different options do, you can use the integrated help in Sword Searcher. But for now, I'm going to change it so that I can see the definition of a word in the Bible in the Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Now when I hold down Control and Alt and I click a word, I can see the definition in the Webster's 1828 Dictionary. I could also have chosen a different dictionary for the lookup, and you can see what other options are available in the integrated help. I encourage you to pick the options that work best for your own personal study flow. You'll find even using one study click lookup option will make things a lot faster. Thanks for watching.